the format of the robot. Hello, my name is Joseph. Today I'm here to tell you what happened to me not too long ago, because this is strange. I was looking on the Garfield subreddit to see if there was Garfield and Friends episodes I could download, due to me being a big fan of Garfield and Friends, and the Garfield comics too. Wanting to watch the show I used to watch as a kid, because I didn't want to pay to watch it, when I found a reddit post named, Garfield and Friends Season 127, Google Drive. As the title says, it has all episodes of Garfield and Friends from Seasons 1 to 7. Each season had its own Google Drive link with all of the episodes from the seasons being there. Before watching, I commented on the post, thanking the Redditor for including all of the episodes and seasons for free. After I did, I went to watch Season 1. However, I realized something was wrong. Instead of Season 1 having 13 episodes, it had 14. I went to check the final episode and found a video named, Garfield's Hunger, Season 1, Episode 14. It was strange, because I have never seen or heard about this episode of Garfield and Friends. I had decided to check the episode list on Wikipedia to see if this episode actually exists. However, I did not find it. I was completely confused, but I watched the video. The video started out of the ordinary. It showed Garfield in John's house, sitting on the floor, leaning against the wall with a sad look on his face. I'm starving. John hasn't fed me for days. What am I going to do? He thought. However, after a few seconds and all of a sudden, Garfield's sad look turned into an evil smirk. I have no choice. I'm going to have to do this. He thought. Then it fades to black. It just straight fades to the title card, without the inclusion of the Friends Are There theme song. I still thought that this was a real episode, considering the animation looked exactly the same from Garfield and Friends. The first segment started. It was named, all caps, FEAR. We get a view of John's house, however this time, it was bizarrely messy. The sofa was very scratched, things were broken, pictures scratched, windows messed up, the messy floor, etc. I was absolutely creeped out. John then comes dashing to the living room. He becomes shocked to see what it has become. What? Who could have done this to my house? Garfield, are you the one who caused this mess? He asked. It then fades to Garfield, looking at the camera with his evil smirk as it slowly zoomed into him. It fades to black. It then fades to a view at the kitchen. The kitchen was also entirely messy. I then started to suspect that Garfield was the one who did all of this, just because of his evil smirk at the beginning. All the cabinets were open, even worse is that the cabinet doors were broken, making everything even scarier. The chairs were also thrown on the floor. John walks to the kitchen. Oh my goodness! What happened to my house? Where's the food? Why is everything messy? He asked. Once again, it fades to Garfield, doing his evil smirk at the viewer. It fades to black. We then get a view of Garfield's sleeping box. We can also see a wall with a scratch mark that looked exactly like an actual cat's scratch. We could also see Garfield's paws on the floor. That's when I was sure it was Garfield who made the mess in John's house. We can also see Odie's color, and Garfield's blanket, scratched. As soon as I saw Odie's color, I realized that he was nowhere to be seen. I then started to think on what had happened to him. It finally fades to the last scene. John then walks to the living room, and sees Garfield. Garfield, have you seen Odie? He asked. It cuts to Garfield looking at John, doing his evil smirk at him, as the camera kept zooming to his face. Garfield! Garfield! He screamed, as the screen slowly faded to black. While the screen is black, you can hear Garfield chewing John, along with John screaming painfully, and worst of all, his bones cracking. After a few seconds, you can hear Garfield swallowing him. It then fades to Garfield in the living room, smirking at the viewer. All of a sudden, he spits out one of John's shoes, but continues to smirk at the viewer like nothing happened. It fades to black as the first segment ends. I was confused but at the same time I was creeped out. 
Why would Garfield do something like this? He's just completely out of character here. Garfield would never do something like this to John and Odie. Although Garfield views John as a dork and takes advantage of him, Garfield still values and seeks John's companionship. Garfield may hate Odie, but he still would never do something like this to him. Without John and Odie, Garfield would be lonely. If you have seen the Garfield Alone comic by Jim Davis, you would know that Garfield doesn't like to be lonely. Besides, why would Garfield want to kill them just because of hunger? I had so many questions. The second segment started. Just like in every episode of Garfield and Friends, it was a USA Eaters segment. It was called, The End of USA Eaters. The entire segment was about Wade waking up and realizing that everyone else is gone. He tried looking for them on the farm or outside, but didn't find them. Every time he called their names, there was never an answer. He started to become scared. Could it be that my friends were captured? Did the hunters catch them? Could it be that they were... were... eaten? He thought. We then are able to see Garfield behind Wade, ready to attack. He then opens his large mouth and runs after Wade, to eat him. Wade looks back, and lets out a scream, very scared. The scream then fades to black. We can then hear Garfield chewing him, and then swallowing him, just like John's death. The segment ends. I knew exactly what had happened to the other characters. They died. They disappeared because Garfield had eaten them, and was waiting for Wade to wake up just to make him his snack. I was scared. Garfield's hunger really drove him insane, thinking that eating his own friends is the way to go. I continued watching the episode. Who would be the next in the third segment? The third segment was called, Goodbye Kitty. The segment was about Normal going to John's house, however, he's shocked to find out what had happened to the house. Whoa! What happened here? He thought, looking around the house. Normal then starts to explore the house. He goes to the kitchen. Who could have done such a mess? This is creeping me out. He thought. He then hears some footsteps. He quickly looks back, but doesn't see anyone. He decides to leave the house, but when he tries to open the door, it is locked. At this moment, he has become more scared than he was before. If no one is in the house, how come the door is locked? He thought. He then hears a laugh. He looks back. Nothing. Then he goes to the kitchen quickly, and grabs a pen. Who's there? He asks. No answer. He starts walking around the house, holding the pen. Immediately he feels something running towards him. He looks back, but before he could react, Garfield grabs Normal and opens his huge mouth to eat him. But before he did that, Normal, with his pen, gets Garfield in the head, making him fall. Normal gets loose and continues hitting Garfield, but he gets so mad that he kicks Normal's leg so hard that Normal falls and drops his pen. Garfield gets up, grabs the pen and starts hitting him hard with said pen until he passes out. The screen cuts to black as we hear Garfield laughing. We can then hear him thinking in the background. You may have annoyed me so much, but this finally came to an end. Goodbye, Nermal. Later on, we hear Garfield swallowing Nermal. It later fades to a new scene. In this scene, we can see John's TV, where a news program is showing. Today, one person and many animals were missing in Muncie, Indiana. The last time this person was seen was at his home, and then he was missing. We still don't know the last time the animals were seen, but maybe we will discover. Suddenly, Garfield is shown, who is revealed to be on the scratched sofa, watching the news. Little do they know that I ate them all, he thought. He then begins to laugh maniacally as the screen fades to black. The episode finally ended, with no credits. Wow, what have I just watched? The first thing I did was to contact Pause Incorporated about the episode and even sent the video. However, their reply was, Hello. We checked our episode guide for Garfield and Friends but we did not find any episode named Garfield's Hunger. Our second question, where did you get this video from? We never heard of an episode named Garfield's Hunger to be produced. I told them that I got the episode on a Google Drive link. They replied, again. We can confirm that the episode is not real. An episode called Garfield's Hunger was never produced. 
We did make sure to talk with the people who worked on the show, and they said that they never created an episode like this. Thanks for your questions. Just when I was about to believe them, I realized that they were lying. At the start of the 2000s, Cartoon Network has made a commercial of Garfield and Friends called, all caps, FEAR. You can notice that the commercial's name is the exact same name as the first segment of the episode. However, it never released on the United States, probably due to censorship. The commercial was only released on Brazil and Spanish countries, due to the fact these are the only versions of the commercial that has surfaced on the internet. The commercial, in fact, reused footage of the first segment of this video. And what does that mean? That Pause Incorporated was lying about the episode being fake, when Cartoon Network themselves used footage of the first segment for their commercial. The only difference in the commercial is that John's first two dialogues was changed. Example. What? Who could have done this to my house? Garfield, are you the one who caused this mess? was modified, and in the commercial, he instead asks. Garfield, where's the furniture? In my opinion, it just didn't really fit to me. I just thought that the original dialogue looked so much better. Why would John ask where did the furniture go, even though there was furniture? It was just destroyed thanks to Garfield. My theory is that they have done this dialogue change to make the commercial last more shortly, but I don't think so, because they have made a much shorter version. Who knows why the hell they changed the dialogue. After seeing that commercial, I had decided to contact Pause Incorporated again. I talked about the commercial and sent the video that had included it. But this time, they did not reply to me. Was the information behind this episode personal, was the first thing I had thought. But if the information behind the episode was personal, they should have just told me. It wasn't necessary to make lies about the episode being fake. But knowing that the episode was real, I was saddened. The fact that they made an episode where Garfield is completely out of character and decides to eat his own owner and his friends because of hunger just makes me disappointed. Why would Jim Davis allow the animators and writers to make such an episode? I had so many questions, but at least they didn't release that shit on television. Just imagine how many kids would have been scared of Garfield. Another thing I was wondering was how the hell did the Red Eater was even able to get footage from the episode? My theories was that the Red Eater was probably a worker for Garfield and friends and he was able to get the footage and release it on Reddit without the workers and the companies knowing. We'll probably never know. If I have ever met Jim Davis, it would have been my perfect opportunity to make him questions about this specific episode. I did found Jim Davis's contact however when I made him questions about the episodes he never replied. He probably started using a new contact. Who knows?